Hey guys, Brad Scott here with bradscottvisuals.com and welcome to another episode of Behind the Shot. Today we're going to focus on how to edit and um, basically capture photos of the Milky Way. We're going to be using Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop CS6 to edit the photo. And um, we're going to be editing this photo here of the Milky Way. Um, I shot this up in Tahoe at Emerald Bay. And I want to show you exactly how to bring out the details in the Milky Way and really create a nice image. Um, this is my site, islandbeachart.com. If you ever want to purchase any of my prints, um, you can do that. Check out all the photos here. Uh, but let's go over to uh, Adobe Bridge and show you all the settings for the camera that I used. Okay, So let's go over there right now. So this is the photo that comes straight from... The raw file. I'm shooting everything in raw on my Canon 6D, and this photo was taken um, with a 35 millimeter focal length at f4.5. It was a 25 second um, exposure, so my shutter speed was 25 seconds, and I bumped my ISO all the way up to 6400. Now the Canon 6D is a full frame camera, and it's really good in low light. So if you're using like any of the, the Canon Rebel series, the T3i through the T5i, or uh, like a Canon 70 or 60D, I don't re recommend going anything over about 3200 on your ISO. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of grain, okay? Um, a good rule of thumb for uh, knowing your shutter speed for star photos is just imagine looking through a telescope and how fast the stars move in front of you. Um, so basically the wider angle the lens, the longer of an exposure you can take without getting star blurs going on, okay? So if you want to get a crisp photo of the Milky Way, just make sure that the exposure is short enough to make it so the stars aren't being blurred out. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up. I'm going to right click out of Adobe Bridge and open it with Camera Raw. <clears throat> and the first thing I'm going to do with this photo is just add about a stop of exposure on there. Um, that's looking pretty good right there. I'm just going to turn the blacks down a little bit to get rid of that purpleness that was down here. Uh, and then we're going to go into curves and we're going to add a high contrast curve to this photo. So I'm going to click right by the histogram click up right here and then just drag it up and you can see that's already bringing in a lot of detail um, I'm now just gonna click shift and click on the other point and then I, I can now move this curve around and get it to where I want it to be I want it to be a little bit lighter so I'm gonna go right there looks about good and then we're gonna go and check out the white balance. I, th I shot this at 3200 um, which is tungsten light on your camera settings. I want to just maybe bring a little bit more warmth to that and let's add a little bit of magenta tint to it. Let's go like 16 looks good and then um, let's just go back over to the curves and we're just going to check out the individual curves and add a little bit of red to that. Right about. Right around there looks good. Let's go to the blues. Bump that up a little bit. All right. And then um, last thing we want to do is go to the noise reduction. And that way, just so we can see zooming in, it's got a little bit of noise in the image. So, And as you can tell, I still have a little bit of star blur. So I could have used a wider angle lens to... Um, to get a little less star blur, blur and that way I can do like a 25 second exposure and it'll be perfectly crisp stars, okay? Um, I'm going to go up to about, 
Just go like 60 on that. And then the detail, luminescence detail. Um, you don't want to go too less on there because it's going to be just like a big blobby image. Uh, but you don't want to go too high either because then you'll get a little bit of the noise coming back. So I'm going to stick to right around 50 on that. Let's zoom it back out. All right, and that's looking pretty good so far. Um, if you want to, you can add a little bit of clarity to it, but I find that it kind of hurts the photo more than it helps it out. Um, so I'm just going to leave that at zero for now. And we're going to go ahead and open this up in Photoshop and uh, work some magic in there. Okay, so I'm just going to click Open Image. Okay, so we're here in Photoshop CS6, and the first thing I want to do, um, one second here, first thing I want to do is just separate this foreground from the background. Um, with a silhouette, it's actually pretty easy to do. I'm, I'm going to be posting some more Photoshop tutorials in the future on how to do it with a lighter background, but um, as far as silhouettes go, I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm just going to paint part of this black real fast. The bottom was a little light. So I'm going to paint that black and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer by dragging it down to this new layer window. And then what I'm going to do is go to filter or select color range. I'm just going to click on the black and then adjust the fuzziness to where it's only selecting that tree line, okay? So that's all selected out. I'm going to click the mask button down here. And now that that foreground is all masked out and we can play with the background layer as much as we want to. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer again. And what we want to start doing is bringing out uh, the detail in the Milky Way here and masking that out okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a curves layer to the Milky Way so we're gonna click over here on curves and then if you select this top hand tool right here you'll notice on the histogram when I go over the image you can see the little dot on the histogram moving so what I want to do is select a kind of a, a brighter point on the image and then I want to select uh, a darker bit and then we just want to create a curve with that okay so right around there is looking pretty good nice curve alright that's looking pretty good right there and then what we want to do is press control backspace and that's going to create a mask for that curve. So now what we can do is we can paint with a white paintbrush on the mask, make sure the, the mask layer is selected. And we're just going to paint in the details in the Milky Way that we did. And you can paint right over the trees as we separated that already. That's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to switch my brush real fast to a hard brush just so I can show you something. Um, let's really adjust that curves layer and make it even stronger of a curve right around there. Okay, we're going to click back on the mask and I just want to paint in a little bit of this just so I can show you. You can see there's a very hard edge with this brush. And what we can do to combat that is we can go click on the mask here, click on filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 
and then we're going to set the blur level up to like 290 or 300 like really high blur level and that's going to mellow out that that masking layer is going to feather it out okay so this is looking pretty good already um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer again so just duplicate that and what we want to do is go and basically just make these these edges up top and bottom a little darker as well it's got a little bit of light pollution in there so I wanted wanted to uh, basically just darken those up so we're gonna do another curves layer and let's just mask this out okay and we're gonna add a curves layer to that just make those even darker control backspace to make that curves layer dark and we can actually delete this mask. I don't know why I made a mask for that. We don't even need that. So now click on the, the curves layer. And we're just going to go ahead and paint in. Just right below the Milky Way here. And right kind of above it here too. And we're going to add another Gaussian blur to that mask. So filter blur, Gaussian blur. And let's bump that one up to like 316. Click OK. And that's a little strong, so I'm just going to lighten it up a tiny bit more. All righty. That's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this upper curves layer and just make the opacity a little less. Let's go to 70. And then last thing I want to do is I'm going to click on this, um, this copy I made down here. And I want to click on Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharpen Mask. And I'm going to make the amount pretty high. Let's go to like 80. And then the radius is going to go. Let's make it right around 8. Click OK. And you can see when I turn it on and off, it's pretty big difference. So what we want to do is just click Mask on that. And then we're going to click Control Backspace. It's going to fill it with black. And then we're just going to paint that in with a white paintbrush as well. And you hit the left bracket just to make my brush a little smaller. And we want to just go in these dust lanes in the Milky Way and just bring out the detail in them. Just kind of brush in the detail. In these dust lanes. There we go. It's looking pretty good. And then we can just add a little a blur on that mask as well. So filter blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll just do like 180 on that one. And there you have it. So let me show you from all the levels being turned off how we started. So that's how it started. And then we finished up with the finished product there. So that's how you edit the Milky Way. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
And um, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful. And like I said, just uh, check back for more videos. I'll be doing more behind-the-shot episodes and also more Photoshop, um, After Effects, and Adobe Premiere tutorials. So we'll see you in the next video, guys.